You know, we've got a lot of big comic book superhero movies coming down the pipe. And dare I say, one of the more interesting ones, uh, Chris Carr might suggest fantasy, but <laughs> one of the more interesting comic book movies we have coming right now is The Flash. And it's interesting for a whole lot of reasons. Some bad reasons, some good reasons. Um, you know, they released the trailer and stuff like that. Everybody at CinemaCon... Oh, they still haven't released the CinemaCon trailer, did they? No. Ooh, you get a whole it's, lot of Michael Keaton in that CinemaCon trailer. It's all fan-made. It is, yeah. It's, yeah, it's all it's fake. It's fake. Michael Keaton is pulling a fast one on everybody. Yeah. But they showed that, and it looked pretty good, and there's a lot of discussion going on about it. What do you do about it? All the drama surrounding Ezra Miller and stuff like that. Well... Apparently, there have been several reports coming out that we've talked about before that they're not really going to do anything about it. They're just going to kind of cross their fingers and hope nothing else goes bad. Because according to Variety, Warner Brothers right now feels like The Flash is not just one of the best DCEU movies. Apparently, they feel like it's one of the best DC movies, period. Now, this <laughs> comes to us... I'm <laughs> <laughs> No, we oh, heard cold. we heard this tune. Come on, yeah. We Ray's so a standing cold. ovation for Batman versus Superman, which I liked. I actually liked it. So, but the we've heard guy. this tune before. Well, let's let's see. This is, comes just from the folks over at Screen Rant, and and they wrote this. They said the excitement many have for the Flash appears to be well placed, as a new report claims uh, that Warner Brothers is very high on the movie. In a story from Variety, remember, this isn't Gus's gas station movie reviews dot fart, like, which is often where you hear studio, it usually comes from those. This yeah. is coming from Variety. In a story from Variety about what WB is going to uh, do with The Flash following Miller's repeated legal trouble and controversies, the outlet mentioned that the studio's confidence that the film delivers. Specifically, it is said that Warner Brothers views The Flash as one of their best DC movies. This line doesn't limit the movie's quality to just the DCEU, meaning the studio could think of it as any DC movie they've ever made. And you're talking about movies like The Dark Knight and things like that, and they're kind of putting in that. All right, let's address this for a second. <laughs> now, to Ray's point, we have heard this tune before, sung by many a crooner, that, <laughs> oh, blah, blah. As a matter of fact, you know, we just heard it not that long ago. Because, Rob, how long did we hear from a number of legitimate people inside that Marvel felt Eternals may be the best Marvel movie ever, right? <clears throat> that and, was true. We, we actually heard that from very legit sources. Yeah, from very, very legit sources that they felt it was like the best Marvel movie ever. So we were kind of ludicrously excited about it. And I, you and I both like Eternals. I liked it. We like it. It ain't the best Marvel movie, like anybody by a long shot. So when we're hearing things like this, you got to keep in mind that those saying we think it's our best movie, okay, that's that person's opinion. That's that person's thought. Now, quite often, as I pointed out at the beginning, you hear these sorts of reports from BS outlets, like uh, not BS outlets, but but subprime outlets like the John Campia show, a subprime <laughs> outlet that'll say, oh, we heard that the president thinks it's the greatest thing ever. Really? Who said the president of that studio said that? Guess is gas station movie reviews dot fart, but this is actually coming from Variety. You can actually watch them record that at that gas station. <laughs> they do yeah. it right yeah. there as they're yeah. doing the squeegee on the on the windshields. <laughs> and so, look, do I believe this report that there are those in Warner Brothers that think this Flash movie is one of the best DC movies? I do. I believe that report. Do I buy that it actually is one of the best DC movies ever? Uh, I believe somebody in Warner Brothers told Variety that, but just because somebody in Warner Brothers thinks that doesn't mean we're going to think it. But look, you know what I think, right? I think they've got a terrific director on board, right? So we've been talking about him forever. Uh, I believe the premise is kind of cool. You got Michael Keaton coming back in. This movie has a lot of things going for it. I remain very optimistic about this movie. I don't necessarily think it's going to be Dark Knight level good, and nor does it need to be. It doesn't right. need to be that good. But uh, we'll find out. Anyway, Rob, you hear this report. Like Ray said, we've heard this kind of song sung before, but what do you make of it? I mean, look, I could see that that this has an emotional component that other superhero movies might not have because the idea that maybe Flash can prevent the death of his mother. Right, yes. You know, so there, there, there could be those kinds of emotional levels to this, uh, if it's real, mm -hmm. which... We are all, of course, dubious as to whether it's real or not. Yeah. But no, I, I think that 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 could actually be, you know, people don't usually equate 
uh, emotional, an emotional wallop with a superhero movie. Although when you have one, I mean, I thought uh, Endgame, the loss of life in that was surprisingly poignant. You mm-hmm. felt it. And I think that in this kind of a movie, look, forget what happens to Ezra Miller in the real world. I really have appreciated him as a performer. I, I really liked him in uh, Perks of Being a Wallflower. And I think that he could probably, there's a he has a quality to him that I can see people becoming very emotionally invested in, more so than, say, other superheroes. So it doesn't surprise me that this might be the case. I hope it is, dude. I want, I mean, when did, I think you and I were in elementary school when we first heard about this movie getting made, <laughs> you know, that long ago. So I'm hoping, I mean, I want it to be good. Just, just again, to re- we've mentioned this on the show before, but to reemphasize the point, this movie was announced when the premiere episode of CW's The Flash was coming out. What, nine seasons ago? This movie yeah. was announced when the first episode of the CW Flash thing was going on. And, and to, to echo what you were saying, listen, yeah, I have been very frustrated with all the garbage and nonsense Ezra Miller's been getting themselves into. Absolutely, 100%. But I also believe they are a very, very good Flash. I know a lot of people don't like Ezra Miller's interpretation of the Flash. Mm-hmm. That's perfectly fair. But despite my frustration with other things, I think they've been a very, very good Flash. I like the quirkiness that they bring to this role. I like the 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 um, characteristics that they kind of make it very unique from any of the other DC characters who've got on screen right now. I'm like you, Rob. I hope that this report is right. Chris, you don't believe this movie's even real, but no. if it was, oh, man. if I it mean, was, could it be that good? It's so easy to say that something is amazing if it doesn't exist, yeah. right? <laughs> I mean, gosh. Uh, I, I'm with you guys on, I think Ezra Miller is a tremendous performer, despite what's going on in their personal life, right? That does not negate the performances they've turned in. I love Perks of Being a Wallflower. I love Such it. Such a so good movie. Good in that. Such a so good, good movie. in that. It's one of my favorite books. And they were terrifying in... We have to talk about yes. Kevin. Oh, absolutely. Oh, we have to talk about Kevin. So oh my gosh. Good. I mean, which, which now though, maybe it wasn't so much. Maybe acting. it was more of a biography. Maybe it was a little <laughs> oh, more. No, yeah. Let's just oh, tune boy. into what we're actually doing. But is this Dark Knight level? Is this the Batman level? Like you said, it doesn't have to be. But those are very, very bold claims. And of course, a studio is going to back its own horse. It's dumb to be like, well, we made this real piece of shit movie, but we're <laughs> going to just still pop it in theaters and hope for the best and hope we trick all y'all. No, we're going to invest in our film. We're going to act like we're talking about it in a in the most productive and meaningful way we can so we can get butts in seats. I just still don't think it's real. I mean, we're going to be in line to go see this movie, and I'm going to turn to you, John, and be like, wow, I can't believe you're doing all this elaborate stuff to make me think this movie's real. <laughs> we're just being punk. It's the yeah. biggest, It's what is it, uh, the Michael Douglas movie? It's the game. Yeah, It's yeah. our version of the game. It's really going to be Carr. a screening of the black phone. <laughs> <laughs> CRX Believe me, Ethan Hawke starts running real fast. (laughs) Any minute now. You just wait. All right, guys, question is for you. What do you make of this report coming out of Variety that there are inside people in Warner Brothers who believe this Flash movie is going to be one of not one of the best DCEU movies, one of the best DC movies? We can only hope. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and leave your thoughts there. We want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of today's video, Stamps.com. Now, guys, as a small business owner myself, I am always looking for ways to save costs, yes, but I know that our most valuable resource is time, and I'm always looking for things that can save us time. Stamps.com saves you both. Because when you're running a small business, every second counts. You can't afford to waste a single moment. So why are you still taking time out of your day to go to the post office when you could be using Stamps.com instead? Stamps.com makes mailing and shipping quick, easy, and cost-effective. How cost-effective? Well, you can get discounts that you can't find anywhere else, like up to 30% off USPS rates and 86% off UPS. And there's no special hardware technology you need. All you need is your regular computer and printer, no special supplies or equipment required. So guys, stop wasting time and start saving money when you use stamps.com to mail and ship. Sign up with the promo code CAMPIA for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts needed. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and enter the code CAMPIA.